Hey guys, what's up? I'm Noah. This is Analog Resurgence, and today I'm talking about some of my local Toronto-based film resources, and in the process, I'd like to hear about some of yours as well. I live in Toronto, and I've probably mentioned that a little bit in the past, but that is where I'm based out of, that is where I live, that is where I shoot film and get film processed, all that wonderful stuff. And I'm really, really lucky to be able to do so because there are some amazing resources in Toronto that allow me to indulge in this whole thing. And uh, yes, right now, world over, we're seeing the COVID-19 virus and there's uh, things are shutting down and self-isolation and quarantines are happening. And that also means that some of these smaller, more independent businesses that deal with uh, like developing film or facility rentals and everything are also having to close down. And that can also kind of hurt them as well. So I, during this time, really wanted to take a minute and kind of put a bit of a highlight on like a bit of the film community within Toronto and like some of the local businesses that deal with this stuff that make it all super possible, not just for myself, but for like everybody in the city who loves to shoot 35 millimeter or shoot super eight or 60 millimeter or medium format, four by five, get slides developed or scans and uh, you know, all this stuff. And of course, if you are outside of Toronto, if you are anywhere in the world, then I would love to hear about like the different places that you guys buy film or use to develop film. Let me know about who you guys love in your area and what makes it possible for you guys to be able to shoot film of any format. I'm gonna start off with a few of the big ones in Toronto, which allow me and so many other people to shoot motion picture film, because this is a big one and very, very rare, especially in the world overall. So number one is Niagara Custom Lab. In Toronto, we have a truly dedicated motion picture film lab, which is really kind of like the last truly like dedicated lab for motion picture formats in Canada overall. This lab is able to process eight millimeter, super eight, 16 millimeter and 35 millimeter motion picture film. They have machines that will run black and white negative, color negative, color reversal using the E6 process for things like Ektachrome, and black and white reversal for things like Tri-X, which in its motion picture format for Super 8 and 16 is a reversal film stock. They also do a film transfer service, which allows them to take their eight millimeter, Super 8 and 16 millimeter films, scan them frame by frame into a digital file and output them in resolutions up to 2K for you guys. They also do crazy things like digital to film projects. So if you give them a digital video file, then they can take that and actually shoot it frame by frame onto film. So then you can actually have like a film print, uh, a physical copy of a project that you've been working on digitally if you wanna be able to project that or put it into like art installations that have like a projection element, then they can do that for you as well. And along with that, they have all sorts of printing services. So they can do physical prints of 16 millimeter and 35 millimeter film stocks for you guys. And they also sell film stocks. They can sell Super 8 and 16 and you you know, they'll bundle together pricing for things like uh, film processing and scanning and some student rates along with that stuff as well. Then there's LIFT and LIFT stands for the Liaison of Independent Filmmakers of Toronto. And LIFT is full of amazing people and they offer some amazing services that are also super important for this city, along with uh, uh, workshops that allow you to learn more about shooting film, developing film, shooting digital, learning digital programs like Premiere Pro and uh, DaVinci Resolve. They also do workshops that are involved with like accounting and balancing budgets and just, you know, all sorts of stuff around like independent film production. Along with that, they rent stuff and they rent like a really nice variety of motion picture like film cameras and motion picture digital cameras. Everything from like smaller eight millimeter and super eight and bowl exits for 16 millimeter up to like 35 millimeter sync cameras for shooting large scale productions. And you can also rent out time to use their facilities like dark rooms and editing bays and optical printers if you wanna make prints from your physical negatives of film. And they have uh, the ability to rent out gear and you can use scanners and film splicers and just kind of all this stuff that can really go a long way in making a project easier to work on. And they also sell film stock and some other miscellaneous production things on site as well, Super 8 and 16. And you can also order film from Kodak 
through them for your production as well. And finishing off, maybe uh, the trinity of motion picture services in Toronto is Frame Discrete. And Frame Discrete is a high-end transfer service for motion picture film. Frame Discrete can scan 8mm and Super 8 and 16mm and 35mm, and they do so using a laser graphics scan station, which is a very, very high-end, very, very expensive motion picture film scanner. And they transfer films using an HDR scanning process so that you can kind of get like the best out of your exposure. And they can output in upwards of 4K resolution. So like 4K resolution uh, HDR scans of Super 8. So if you're looking for that kind of quality, then you can head over to Frame Discrete and you can get stuff scanned by them. They also offer the ability to have your film scans color graded by them as well. And they have the proper facilities and the knowledge and the experience to be able to do that really well. Now from motion picture film, I'm gonna move on and focus on the photography, like still film photography resources in the city. And I'm gonna start with Downtown Camera. Downtown Camera is kind of a big one in the city. They have a lab in-house and that lab has the ability to process color negative and black and white negative film. They do so for 35 millimeter, 120, and a variety of like smaller and odd sized things like 110 film or APS film, if you're into that sort of thing. They will not do four by five film. Like the large format stuff is not something that they offer the ability to do in house. They have a variety of scanning options and like printing options as well. They scan using Noritsu film scanners and they have the ability to scan on like a nice flatbed scanner for some of the odd size negatives, things like 110 film, which won't go through Noritsu scanners. In terms of uh, their E6, like color reversal film processing for things like Ektachrome and Pro and Velvia from Fujifilm, they do send that film out to someone locally in the city who does that stuff. Downtown Camera probably also has the best source locally, the widest variety on hand for buying film. 35 millimeter in medium format and four x five film, as well as things like developing tanks and chemicals in both liquid and powder form, different chemical kits, developing stuff. All this stuff you can usually kind of source for the most part at Downtown Camera. So Downtown Camera and none of the other places that I'm about to mention do any motion picture stuff. They do not process Super 8 or 16 millimeter or large film rolls like that. You cannot give them that stuff, uh, stuff that has like Remjet on the back, which is motion picture stuff rolled down. They will not do. Most labs will not do it for photography. There's also Annex Photo, which is actually a concept store by Fujifilm. So they're much more weighted in terms of like Fuji products. So you can usually get like a big variety of like the Instax products and like Fuji's film stocks on hand as well. And they do have a lab in-house for being able to develop and scan film. They would do color negative and and black and white negative, similar to Downtown Camera as well. Uh, they will not do four by five, also like Downtown Camera, and they will not do E6 film on site at all either. But 35 millimeter and 120 medium format, uh, they are more than capable of doing, and you can drop off film with them as well for developing and scanning, and you can get that film and your pictures through them. And another lab is West Camera. West Camera is in the West End of Toronto. West Camera does uh, film developing processes as well for color negative and black and white negative film, as well as scanning so that you can get digital copies of your film off of the film that you've shot. And uh, just like kind of Downtown Camera and Annex Photo, they do not do uh, large format and they do not do E6 processing in-house. That stuff, again, you can drop off through Downtown Camera or Toronto Imageworks. Uh, Toronto Imageworks is also like a really nice place and they offer some premium services in terms of like printing and framing and mounting and mat services and uh, like all this different stuff that is great for like uh, getting work together for shows and displays and just like events like that. They also do have a lab in store that will be able to do black and white negative, color negative uh, film processing. And they do film processing for large format negatives like four by five film. So uh, you can drop film off with them if you're shooting large format four by five film. Imageworks also offers like some rental facilities. You can go in and uh, rent facilities to be able to do some of your own film scanning yourself. They also have a really high-end type of scanner called a drum scanner, which is used for certain stuff and can give you like really amazing results. And they have the ability to push and pull process color negative film, which is either like push it further or like pull it back in terms of developing. None of the other places in the city at the moment really have the ability to do that because it utilizes like a different kind of film developing machine. So that is definitely like one of the kind of exclusive like uh, pros of dropping film off with them. And to round it out, there is 
even another lab called Northern Artist Pro Lab in the city, which is further north. They have the ability to do developing and scanning on site, kind of like the Annex and West Camera and Downtown Camera. Uh, they do color negative and black and white negative for 35 millimeter and 120 medium format. Northern Artist also has the ability to do four by five developing as well. And there's information on their website about that, but they do not offer um, E6 color versus slide processing in house. So those are kind of like the, uh, like the main Toronto resources in terms of film for both photography and and motion picture. So there's like quite a few services out there to choose from. So of course, um, if I missed some people or if there's like other businesses or more obscure places in the city, I know I didn't cover everything, but I wanted to definitely like cover like the dedicated lab services in the city as well as like, um, there's also Gallery 44, which is also like a co-op uh, kind of place where you can get a membership and you have access to like a dark room and those kinds of facilities as well. And like, that's really important in terms of like a community kind of service. But definitely if there's other sources in Toronto or Ontario or Canada or North America or you know the world that that you guys really want to highlight and kind of talk about then you can sound off in the comments down below where do you get your film developed where do you guys go for your photography for your super 8 for your 16 who do you trust with your film. Thank you guys so much for watching and checking this out and this is kind of uh, analog resurgence week as I put up like a little kind of video uh, Monday to Friday this week. Um, I'll probably just never do this again, but I kind of felt like it in order to, you know, just kind of have some fun while everything is uh, like a little tense right now, like across the world. There's also uh, links in the description of all the places I talked about in the video here in Toronto, Canada, Ontario, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Also, Analog Resources Patreon link in the description if you want to hop over there and help support the channel so I can get out and do more of this stuff uh, in the future, as well as a uh, address for the uh, PO Box if you want to send me some interesting analog stuff. If you've got stuff that uh, you can't use, don't use, don't want to use, don't know how to use, might throw out and have no interest in, uh, you know, you can always send it my way. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.